Why, hello there, bloody good day, and uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about unordered lists. So our 27th tutorial, and uh, yeah, it's definitely time to learn how to style unordered lists. So before we uh, can style an unordered list, we probably would need one, eh? So let's go ahead and make an unordered list, end it right there, and add some list items in here. And yep, definitely messed that up, so just undo that. Wow, I'm messing like this whole thing up. There we go, Bucky. You get it. And okay, let's uh, let's concentrate here. Enough Wally gagging around. L I L I. Time to add some list items. So the first item would be like Apple. I just go ahead and copy this. Way too lazy to type this again. So okay, what's on my mind? Apple. I guess we can make this a list of food that I like. Apple pie and dumplings because they sound funny and they taste good hmm not a bad combination so now that we have an unordered list let's go ahead and check it out a regular dumb old list with these dumb old bullet points I mean this is a you know a nice list of food but I want to spice things up a bit I want to make this look nice and pretty so the first thing that you might be thinking is alright Bucky the first thing that we need to do is either change these little bullets or uh, get rid of them all together because I mean this is old school just regular bullet holes I don't think so so let's go ahead and learn how to change our bullet points and in order to do that go ahead and write your UL is the element and the property in order to change this is called list minus style minus type now this has a bunch of uh, default I mean excuse me not default but it has a bunch of built-in things I can only remember like three off the top of my head um let's see if I can remember one. square is one now if we go ahead and refresh this check it out our bullet holes turn to squares that's <laughs> that's probably really hard to see on YouTube but I assure you they are squares let's go ahead and uh, make something that's a little easier circle I know is one it might be a little easier to see circle see now you can see that instead of those uh, filled in bullet holes they're now nice elegant looking empty circles so that's pretty cool and actually I just thought of another one um I don't know why I thought of this but it's called katakana and you gotta say it like that you just have to I didn't make the rules and if you refresh this you can see these I don't know I guess they're like Chinese or Japanese symbols if anyone knows what those symbols mean then uh, leave me a comment below because I uh well obviously because I don't know what they mean and I want to know so anyways that is the basics of how you change your unordered list from regular dumb old bullet points to something else so another thing that I want to mention is if you go through and you see you know you look on the website and you go through looking at all the bullet points that you can use and none of them really um, I don't, I don't know, tickle your feathers I guess none of them really make you happy you can go ahead and download an image or make an image and use them as your own custom bullet points so I went ahead and I already downloaded an image off the internet and it's just cool little check mark and if I wanted to use that instead of my bullet points here's what I would need to do first of all you don't use a list style type anymore so go ahead and delete all that what you use is a property called list style image and of course anytime we want to use the image in CSS we use the keyword URL with those parentheses and inside our parentheses I have a file that I already download so if you do this it's not gonna work because this file isn't on your computer but anyways I already have this in my folder it's called check dot ping so when I go ahead and save this and refresh it's gonna go from katakana to those cool little check marks so now you can see instead of those bullet points it has like my own custom whatever I want so I just want to show you guys that there is a way to uh, you know if you're not happy with anything they give you by default then you can make your own so another thing that I wanted to cover in this tutorial maybe I'll save this for the next tutorial now nah, we have got time to do it now um let's go ahead and delete all of this and add a property like border one picks solid red this is a problem that I had a long time ago and uh, 
I remember that every time I made a website it would annoy me so I always use unordered list when I have like a navigation bar on the side and the first thing I want to do is this first of all on my navigation bar I don't want these little bullet points so in order to remove those I go ahead and in my CSS I go list style type and I set this to none and I'm thinking alright whenever I do this the bullet points are going to disappear and all of these which would be links are going to be pushed nice and neatly to the left but I refresh and I get this problem I have this huge space to my left even though there are no bullet points I just want to like shake my computer and I'm like dude you don't have any bullet points so you don't have to move over so can you just hop over there where you should be go ahead just hop on over but it doesn't do that in order to get those to the left let me explain this first of all by default your browser gives padding at least left padding to unordered list um, it also gives a margin I believe by default so in order to fix the padding I mean you would think that it would be zero by default because it just makes sense but it isn't in order to fix the padding you need to explicitly set this to zero so go ahead and type padding in there and go ahead and type zero and now once we go ahead and save this and refresh it check it out everything is pushed nice and neatly to the left and of course if this is too much for you you can alter the padding accordingly but I just wanted to show you guys whenever you guys are you know making a website and you're like hmm making an unordered list as a navigation uh, column seems like a good idea and you have this problem well now you won't have it anymore like I had so I uh, shot myself in the foot so you guys won't have to so uh, anyways, that's all I wanted to show you guys, trying to save you a little headache at least. Um, so there you have it. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, I don't know what I'm going to cover in the next tutorial, but like always, it's going to be amazing. So uh, anyways, thank you guys. Don't forget to check out my website, and I'll see you guys later.